I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, they're having another earthquake swarm there in Lake Tahoe. 33 earthquakes so far today. Uh, largest being a magnitude 3.4 that USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. It was felt over a very wide area all the way to West Sacramento. Can you believe that? Yeah. Let's see, we got here the strongest shaking Reno intensity level five. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. You might hear rain in the background. Yes, yeah, currently raining with some thunder going on here in South Dakota. So what kind of damage did you have from this earthquake? Because intensity level 5 means it was felt by most people. There would have been some breakage of dishes, windows, and plaster. Disturbance of tall objects. Here on Google Earth, I got three different main fault lines drawn out. We got West Tahoe Fault. We got the State Line Fault. And the Inclined Village Fault. Yeah, that actually is just a few feet away from the uh, elementary school where they have... Um, uplift of um, a scarp 30 feet high yeah from past earthquakes uh, many of you that might be new there to the Lake Tahoe reason do not know about the tsunami threats there's been multiple tsunamis caused by earthquakes along these different faults in fact we got the McKinsey um, Bay that was created by a mega tsunami that was over probably 330 feet high and the shoreline of the lake um, actually dropped close to 18 feet. This mega tsunami, I talked about this when there was that swarm back in 2021, um, actually inundated all the way down here to the south to the Tahoe Valley. Yeah, that inundation from that mega tsunami but Lake Tahoe has had lots of tsunamis from earthquakes that were caused by these three different fault zones. Because the lake is so deep, they had to send um, submersible ROVs down to investigate. This mega tsunami here actually threw rocks across the lake all the way to the other side. And there was areas that they thought was ancient volcanoes. Um, somewhere out here in the lake, but actually ended up um, turning out to be debris from the collapse from this, um, yeah, mega tsunami, the earthquake. Now, Lake Tahoe is a high alpine lake that was created in an area that dropped down due to earthquake faulting. It was dammed on the north side by um, volcanic processes, lava, Ice Age glaciers and mega landslide slides that shaped its shores. Onshore and offshore studies have revealed that these processes, per, perhaps the most significant one, faulting continues today on these three active faults that cross the basin and lake floor. These three faults are among the most significant seismic sources of the region to have their most active portions in the lake of the earthquakes in addition to ground shaking and surface ruptures from earthquakes. The exceptional depth of Lake Tahoe creates the additional hazards of tsunamis. So I'm not quite sure which fault line was causing this recent swarm of earthquakes. It could have been the state line fault or the incline village fault. Or maybe they both become active. Now you can see we got a couple earthquakes over here to towards the uh, west let's see that's a 0 0.5 let me bring it down that's by dollar point that's another area where there was an ancient landslide too and let's see another 0 0.5 dollar point and a 0 0.3 so this one was 2.1 miles in depth 
This other one was 6.1 miles in depth. And this was 6.3 miles in depth. Yeah, fairly deep earthquakes for the lake. I've talked about how earthquakes along different fault lines will trigger earthquakes on other fault lines. And that looks like what probably is occurring there. The problem too, um, investigating, studying these fault is that they're all submerged in large portions of their location. You can see that there. The hazards associated with even a moderate earthquake is greatly increased around Lake Tahoe because any submerged surface rupture or a triggered landslide may generate a tsunami wave that can impact the entire shoreline. An ancient eight kilometer wide landslide called, caused a great tsunami. That's this one drawn out in green here, which they refer to as a mega landslide. Um, an event like this is relatively rare compared to much frequent, more, much more frequent earthquakes that are generated there in Lake Tahoe. Earthquakes there in Lake Tahoe shift fault blocks vertically. They rise up with the east side down resulting in a permanent shoreline subsidence and consequential inundation. Yeah, so you would have this side going down um, because of these earthquakes and yeah, the shoreline would just be yeah, inundated, flooded out. And there's a lot of different homes over here too. Not to mention all the different businesses and hotels and things like that. So this earthquake over here that created the tsunami and a scarp. A scarp is where you got one side that rises up higher than the other. Possibly the other side staying stationary. But the uplift was between 5 to 6 meters or 16.5 feet to 19.8 feet. Yeah, I'm not sure where that scarp is, but it created a permanent subsidence on this side of the lake. While a Pacific date is hard to pinpoint, it is estimated that a tsunami struck after an earthquake in the basin about 10 maybe to 20,000 years ago. That big slide undermined the ancient Lake Tahoe shore where Mackenzie Bay is currently at on the west side and sent cubic miles of boulders and rocks and soil plunging more than 1,500 feet into the lake bottom and all the way across until they smashed on the eastern shore. One geologist, Anderson, who did some research here um, in Lake Tahoe, said there was a 2 to 4 percent chance of another large earthquake with tsunami within 50 years. But you know, so many people are getting used to these earthquakes and different world disasters. And even him, he said if he was one of the fortunate few who owned a house on the lakefront, he said in an interview at that time, I wouldn't sell it and I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. Uh, would he even prepare? Would he have a bug out plan? I don't know. So many people don't prepare for any type of disaster. They just, you know, take every day for the moment. When they initially were surveying the rock blocks which, ro which rose hundreds of feet above the lake floor, they thought there were volcanoes. Um, the age of this mega slide is still, still being discussed with published ranges of age anywhere from 5,000 to 300,000 years ago. So even though they can't come up with an actual age for this mega slide, they do know that such a mega slide probably generated a tsunami 100 meters to 300 uh, feet high. And like I said at the beginning of this video, yeah, it went all the way across the lake and all the way down here. There's actual still evidence that they can find of that ancient tsunami. And history does have a way of repeating itself, don't it? So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.
Thank you.